The harness of this vehicle burnt out was locked in the garage, switched off and not uh, anybody near it. The thing just uh, spontaneously burnt out as a harness while it was standing locked up. About three four days ago, Monday evening, I received a, a, a Facebook notification from the customer care saying how uh, sorry they are about this whole matter and I must give them my car's VIN number. My response was, uh, since this thing is now sub and part of the class action suit, that they need to go after the NCC or Mr. Montana, my lawyer, for details of this thing now, because for the last year and eight months, they didn't bother uh, contacting me or even um, uh, basically asking what, what the, pro the, 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 the progress was on the car or at all. In fact, they just ignored every mail I sent them. At this stage, I think Mr. Montano is uh, handling that. Uh, we're just waiting for a, a court date and uh, see how far this, you know, how this is going to proceed from here. Obviously, we understand it's going to take a long time, but uh, we will not give up. Uh, what do I expect from 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 uh, Ford at the end of the day? I want them to basically admit that there has been an issue and uh, that. My car is also a vehicle that has got problems and the whole range in this case is an issue. They only seem to feel that it's the 1.6 model, although we have three cars uh, on, on our group that so far that we know of that have been uh, different models, well, three 2.5 models for that way that have been uh, acting up and have these similar problems. Ford doesn't seem to think that's part of an issue at all. I did receive a document from the National Consumer Commission saying they have received the claim and uh, it's on their records and they will uh, come up with an answer within a certain amount of time. I can't remember exactly how, what the time period was but I've noted nothing else since. In 2015, just after this case happened, I mailed an email to the motor, ombuds, uh, the, 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 the motor industry ombudsman. I've received no responses. My point of view is, <laughs> since this, the, the Ombudsman is funded by the motor industry, how biased is it at the end of the day? How do you exact an opinion uh, for the client if you are funded by somebody from, you know, the, by the, the, the group you actually have to work against or worth work with or even investigate? It doesn't make sense to me at all. Last night, I sent an email to uh, Mr. Mark Fields, which is the, I think, area manager of this whole uh, uh, department, asking him to uh, basically look into this matter and, and, and resolve it as soon as possible. Because uh, my feeling is this will just escalate, it'll carry on and on and on. If they, if they are, have any sort of, 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 of uh, future view for their business, they got to resolve this issue quite quickly now. And then if they come up with all sorts of, 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 of demands and, 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 and sayings that they are, are compassionate about what's happened, why then are all the victims still in the same position they were when this happened? I mean, yes, they're fixing up the 1600s, they say. We've had issues with even cars that have come out there that are still burning. Um, but what has happened to the, the victims that are really burned out? Absolutely nothing. Well, put it this way, to me it's a question of I've got another choice. I have to keep this car. If you cannot sell it, as I said previously, nobody wants to steal it. It's a question of you're stuck with this thing. Um, the value of this car was when I bought it a half a million rand. I can't get rid of it. So I've got to eventually finish paying for it and then. Uh, you just put your life in, 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 in your own hands every day and you've got to just live with it. I've got a big hammer. In there. <laughs> Old toolbox. <laughs> Get out, don't worry. Um, my feeling was, if you look back at what happened to when this thing burnt, the amount of smoke coming out of this car. I mean, when I got the door open, I actually gagged. I couldn't even breathe. Now you can just imagine, 
if you're driving this thing, and this happens while you're driving, you can't get the doors open, you can't get the windows open, you can't breathe. I mean, are we crash test dummies for Ford now? I mean, they're, they're doing the research and development with us as part of the, the whole repair. That's, that's basically what I feel like, we, 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 we test subjects for a company called Ford. I mean, we're not paid for it, but we test subjects for it. They're doing the research and development on vehicles which should have been done before it even got marketed in the first place. Now, we got to go through all this and uh, they will report back and they said that, incidentally, they say they have only the cars that are burnt out to see what uh, went wrong. My car was at Ford for three weeks. Three weeks they had it. Nobody from Ford bothered to come and look at it. No engineer. They just sent photographs from the, 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 the garage up to Ford. So now they come out and they say, but hang on a second, we don't get the, we, we, we get cars in ashes and we've got to see what's wrong. They had mine for three weeks, they didn't bother looking. Now where's the logic in that?